Yeah, nothing spookier than that amazing Capcom logo. That's the Capcom logo that's in my heart. Uh, Capcom had tried their best with Demon's Crest and is just so close to being one of the classic Super Nintendo masterpieces alongside, you know, Super Metroid or Mario World or Link to the Past. But um, Demon's Crest, I have really good memories of this game despite never renting it as a kid, but I'd see ads for it all the time. This is a story about two different lands. One realm was ruled by the humans who were always killing it, crushing it, doing really well. And the other was ruled by demons who are kind of like the nerds. And there's like six chaos emeralds that we have to collect. Uh, six stones fell from the sky into the demons realm. And Firebrand was like, give me that! And scrap the stones with a crest of fire and earth and air and water and time and heaven you know those classic elements the heaven stone it's actually a pretty cool name well that mode 7 oh masturbate that masturbate to that oh god I'm all over the place soon the demons began to fight wow, look how cute they are oh this is the cool ass dragon not satisfied with the crest of fire um earth air water and time and also heaven the red demon challenged the demon dragon uh, for the heaven crest. There you go. Everyone really wants it. It's like the One Piece. After a long and desperate battle. Little claw marks on him, I feel bad. The red demon slayed the dragon and gained the final crest. But the price of victory was really high. Lost his house, his girlfriend. The red demon was also critically wounded. Watch out, you got someone on your six. No! Bam, right, the, right his little cute demon butthole. The old Kancho. So, we're playing the game proper now. Sprite work on Demon's Crest is amazing. Some of Capcom's best, I feel. Probably some of the best on the Super Nintendo in general. I have defeated the Red Demon. Love and life right now. I shall reign the most supreme. I'm the big dog. With the power of the Infinity Stones... Both the demon world and the world of the salary men. There you go, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. Get all these starbursts together, and then BAM! Something then happens. <laughs> the sound is also really incredible on this game, it's, it's got a great OST. Just general soundscape. Yeah, no, that's that looks like the title screen again. Uh, the uh, I'm playing this on the Wii U. I'm not sure if anyone remembers this console. Came out a little while ago. So we go. We gotta start continuing options. Um, so I think we should probably start with start. Okay, there's our boy Firebrand or Red Armor, whatever you like to call him, Mister Armor, if you're feeling nasty. So I remember in comic book ads for this game, it would show this dragon in little screenshots and it'd be like, kill the ancient dragon or something like uh, to that effect. Uh, and it got me really hyped as a kid. But I don't know, I just never wound up uh, renting this as a mat child. Now it's not gonna work now. So you can hover, uh, hover, uh, basically not even hover, but you can fly in this game almost. Okay, what you got? Okay, well that's pretty good. That's good too. Dragon really doesn't like- look how fucking awesome this enemy is. This is the first thing you fight in Demon's Crest. It's not the hardest thing in the world either. You didn't win. And while it's, I'm gonna say, like the atmosphere and spray work is very reminiscent of the Castlevania, Super Castlevania 4, Demon Crest, for those that don't know, do its own thing. It'd be really great if I could go in there and be like Donkey Kong Country where... Oh no! He's poking his cute little head out! He's so strong! He's like Brennan Williams, just never gives up. Fuck you. So yeah, and he dies in a cool sprite that- Oh, oh, what you think? What you think? So yeah, now the game starts proper. Uh, that's cool, because that's a little tutorial about that you can interact with uh, gargoyle statues like this. In a world of gargoyles, everyone's a gargoyle. Uh, and Demon's Crest, uh, for again, people that aren't really aware of this franchise, is actually the third game in the series. There's the NES game, um, and then there's the Game Boy game, and this was like the final one. 
I believe they're called, what do they call it? Goblin Quest? Gargoyle's Quest? Something along those lines. Look at that hunchback. Looks like Gen An from uh, Samurai Shodan a little bit. So right now all I have is this fire attack, but um, you basically get Mega Man styled um, sort of power-ups. Every time you get a Demon's Crest, you have a new form that you can take, a new type of gargoyle, and they'll be like stone-based, there'll be a water-based one that's more aquatic, and people would want to fuck that aquatic-based monster, much like everyone wants to do nowadays. Um, and that's kind of the deal, and I've never, unfortunately, gotten far in this game, because it really gets obscure uh, later on, and we'll see why uh, once we've beaten this kind of tutorial level, I guess. And you can already see, like, this is just a great-looking game uh, for 16-bit at the time. And still today, it holds up really well, I find. And it's just a shame for things that we'll discuss later why it, it unfortunately doesn't... It stumbles a little bit in the pacing uh, difficulty curve. There's our first little boss. Well, I mean, second, really, if you count uh, uh, the, the cool-ass dragon. Oh, he hates it! Fuck! Well, he's burning red, though. Someone's gonna pull his devil trigger sooner or later. Gotta tippy-toe for that jump. Oh, should have to watch out for that. Yeah! Very Mega Man X the way bosses die in this. And then... SMASH! Alright, now, this, this section of the game kind of, uh, this is your first level of the show. That there's much more to this game than just straight-up combat and just flying around a little bit. Uh, because there's a lot more platforming involved here than you might think. Ugh. There you go. And then I got nothing. Great. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, you didn't win. Oh! Oh, wow. I can't believe it. The control, if you can sort of tell, is, is still really good for this game. Performance. Uh, for this game is actually an issue. There's actually a lot of slowdown, uh, which is cool for some games like Mega Man X. Uh, you know which stage I'm talking about. Uh, but for this game, it happens in like some really critical moments. You'd rather it not, and it makes it harder than it should. So you can see there's some power-ups hidden in the game. I don't. I'm not equipped to do them because this game does sort of have an open Metroid-type feel. Not nearly to the level of Metroid, but it's actually pretty close. There's a lot of things you have to go back for and get later. So this guy, I think we have a bit of dialogue with him. Again, very Mega Man X. I've watched your progress, and I'm glad that I shall be... ...shall be the one to put an end to your petty crusade. I believe you have heard of me. I am Arma. No, never... Who? I will be your executioner. That's a pretty good line. So I believe if I beat him, I do get a Demon's Crest, I think. What the fuck are you doing off screen, sir? I can't see! That's not too bad. So this is a... Uh, we're not going to see it yet, but um, one thing about this game is that the boss difficulty is kind of all over the place. Uh, for more detailed breakdown of this game, who's can do it much better than I, uh, check out Derek Alexander, Stop Skeletons from Fighting, and formerly, of course, the Happy Video Game Nerd, who did a really succinct breakdown of what makes this game work and, and some parts of it that, that don't work so much. But uh, he lamented that um, some of the bosses are, are not handled that well in terms of balancing. I'm doing all right here, to be fair. Oh, okay, well... You did all right, kid. You do seem to possess the strength people have been talking about on the blogs. I look forward to our next encounter. Fuck you, Virgil. Can you drop a demon's crest? Thank you. He just shit that out, I guess. You have found the crest of Earth. So now we've got our first form that we can change into. Um, with it, you can morph into G-Gargoyle. And, and gain great speed and the strength to break stone statues, which I already had before, honestly. Look at this shit. Oh, God. So, so this is the overworld of Demon's Crest. Um, if you see an area, you can go down and explore it. You swoop down there. And this is kind of what makes the game a little hard to progress. 
sometimes there'll be an area that has nothing on it and you actually have to swoop down there to like get everything you want in the game there's like really no indication uh that you can do that as, as far as i know let's swoop down to here and see if anything happens this does look like a town which is a little weird like what you just go have a pint down at the pub hey hello sir hey you i haven't seen you around here before uh. Are you a stranger here? Yes, what the fuck is this place, Detroit? They say that the red demon known as Firebrand has risen. And then Firebrand over here is like, Yeah, I heard he has a large, turgid gargoyle penis. He nearly burnt the demon realm to ashes years ago. No, he didn't. He had good reason. Shut up. I'll fight you. So we're going to turn into G Gargoyle just for fun. Ground Gargoyle. Let's do it. And now I've got these big ass shoulder pads, I guess. I can burp out a little bit of fire, that's okay. I cannot fly. So anyone again that doesn't know Demon's Crest, you can see, well that's cool. I do gain this shoulder charge of cool Street Fighter-esque shadows, I love that. Um, and this lets you break into some other things that we haven't found yet. Uh, but I can't, I can destroy those quite easily. That burp is hilarious. I look like I'm a golden girl gargoyle. Oh yeah? Ouch! <laughs> it hurts so much. Huh. I wonder if I can break this as as G gargoyle. No, it's embarrassing. I should stop. Alright, let's let's take firepower first. Uh, cause I think I'm probably better- Oh shit! It's a fucking ghost! Oh no! <laughs> there, you can see that slowdown take- take effect. Oh my god. Taste fire, ghost! Now, I'm- I'm firebrand, I have the firepower, I'm wondering if that actually hurts me. Let's test it out. Of course it hurts me. So before we go too nuts, what else can we explore? I believe that's the Colosseum, where we came from. Uh, let's try here! Just to see if we can do it. So you do have to kind of feel your way around in this game, you have no idea if you're even equipped to do certain levels. Uh, like, do I have the power up for that? I don't know, we're just gonna have to test it can't even kill these things, fuck me. Like how even Firebrand lights up with a little burst of fire on his on his uh, sprite once I throw a... once I burp out a, oh my god, look how evil that fucking is. I might be able to break that as G-Gargoyle, we'll see. Well, I want to see when I can actually use him. He sucks! Oh no! What else we got? You see there's this big lake here? Can we do anything? We can swoop down and smack our dick into it, but not really much going on there. Let's try this charming little town. I just want to swoop into a guy's house. Ah, it's like a shopkeeper type dude. You need an urn to carry potions. Okay, well, I'll return with my empty milk bottle. There's a big skeleton here. Let's go see that. I'm into that. Ooh, uh, that looks like damage, so let me see if I can avoid it. Cool. I don't remember seeing this level. Maybe, maybe I've seen it, but I just don't remember. Look at that cute guy. Oh, adorbs, adorbs. Okay, so there's a bottle for potions, which uh, the guy yelled at me that I needed. But I can't because this vine is in the way. <laughs> It, and I can't get this power up either. That sucks. Might not be able to do this with my current gargoyle gear because uh, I can't latch on to the that thorny side and I want to try to get that you know thing but uh, it's uh, seemingly not gonna happen. I, I, I think I think gargoyle gargoyles fucking useless here unless you can burn this down. You know this this shoulder bash that can break down statues which I haven't found yet um, seemingly can't break that either. Okay, let's go back to firepower. So, for anyone who knows this game, uh, much like always, this is probably really frustrating for you to watch. Alright, let's see if we can get through this area. Uh, I, I was feeling my way around, and I'm just like, eh, it seems like it's doable with just the, uh, firebrand, just vanilla, normal, 
Regular in the box firebrand seems like he could do it. Especially this area, since I can fly! Holy shit! Get out of the way, motherfuckers! <laughs> oh my god, I'm tapping this button so hard! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> that was crazy! Oh! Oh, just I need this. I need this bad. Oh. Woo! I don't know if that was the way I was supposed to get through that level, but I got through that level. Alright, boss. Oh, shit! That thing's horrible! Okay. Kind of locked in. It seems like a cutscene just to... of him presenting himself to me. Oof. Can I only hit him in the back? Oh, man. Oh, shit. This thing's fast. And annoying. Oh, and the wind's kind of pushing me a little bit. That sucks! Oh, fuck this thing. Okay, I might not be actually leveled up enough to stand a good chance against this guy, because if he hits me three times, I'm dead. Oh, shit. He didn't do that before. Great. Great! <laughs> awesome. One more hit, I'm fucking dead. And I don't even think I've close to damaged him enough. Uh, maybe there, there's some other type of uh, Demon's Crest even I could have gotten to put myself in another form, I don't know. Ah, god damn it. Alright, I don't know about that guy, seems pretty tough. Alright, back in town, we're gonna do it. Oh my god. I randomly pressed headbutt here. I didn't know that this breaks. That's awesome. Can I do it to every window? Holy shit! You know what? Being the ground gargoyle would actually be sort of useful here because... There you go. Can't headbutt here though. Which sucks. The general was wearing a uniform something like yours. I saw him run and break one of those fountains into pieces once. Holy shit, I didn't know what? Oh! It did nothing! Uh, but there's gotta be... Let, let's try this one! Oh shit. Hold on, let me try this one because that's clearly... Yeah! <laughs> did you see that guy's big ass shoulders? Oh my god, I feel terrible... for that thing. Fuck you, I guess. Can, can fire brand light that fire? I feel like that can light that on f I feel like I can't, actually. Never mind. I'm stupid. Uh, maybe I should stick to ground gargoyle, because he got us here. There you go. He's the guy to use for now. Oh, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that worked. This area is very pleasant. I don't mind this area at all. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Damn it. There you go. It's not too bad. What is this? Ah, there's, there's spikes on the floor, so I, I assume firepower. I feel like those might hurt me. Oh my god, it gets... It gets dark. That is the scariest ghost I've seen in minutes. Get fucked. He eats it! Run away! Shouldn't all these bats work for me, honestly? Okay, that's not getting lit up. Is this the end of the level? Yes, I, there is an invisible... What the fuck is this? Oh, I've seen this boss in videos and such. Oh, I'm fucking dead. Oh! Okay, I, I screen scrolled off it. I, I was about to die via screen scroll. It's a good thing that happened. Is what, what, I, I guess I have to go up. Yes, I do. Oh my god, the performance. The performance. Oh, Jesus! Like, it's actually really hard for me to wall climb. Are we gonna fight? Are we gonna fight here? What are we doing? Oh no, we're not. We're still going up. What do you want to do? I'll do whatever you want. Okay, I can't hurt him. That sucks. Oh shit. Oh shit. 
Oh god. <laughs> Where did that one come from? Oh my god! Oof. Is he off screen or is he dead? He's, he was off screen. Ah. So that's Demon's Crest. It's 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 a tough game, but it's still really fun. But it's certainly on the Wii U if you want to deal with that.